Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank and just behind my shoulder, there it is, is my red Monstro. And today I'm going to show you how to put LUTs into a red using IPP2 workflow. I'm going to do it in two parts. Part one, we're going to use LiveGrade, the software from Palmfort that allows you to create LUTs live on set. And in part two, I'm going to show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. Before we get started, I want to make sure that I have a log signal coming out of the red so that LiveGrade can process it and give me a LUT. So to verify that, I'm going to go into my menu, Monitoring, Monitors, HDSDI, and I'm going to make sure that my display preset is set to this red wide gamut log 3G10. This is my desktop for LiveGrade. So First thing I'm going to do is note I have this workflow of CDL and LUT. So CDL is a color decision list that's right here. I have a saturation right here, a slider for it, and then at the bottom I have the 3D LUT. And the workflow is going to go from top to bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is delog this image. Notice right here it looks like a log image. So I'm going to open up my preset, go to red IPP2. I'm going to choose Rec 709 MC. RO2. That's medium contrast with a roll-off factor of 2. Reason why I am choosing this specific one is because this is exactly what RED does by default when it delogs and sends out a 709 from the camera. So I'm going to emulate what the camera is doing by choosing that. And there are my curves. And this looks a little uh, funny right here. That's fine. Uh, I'll give you a cutaway of the uh, grading monitor and you're going to see it looks great. So now we can do more artistic stuff. So I'm going to use my uh, controls on my desktop here and I'm going to go here and I'm going to move this white dot and change the hue and saturation of the image. I'm going to go for a little bit of a coral look. I'm just going to push shadows, midtones, and highlights up in towards the uh, yellow orangey area. Okay. And then I can use my saturation slider to make it a little less intense. Okay, maybe that's the starting point for a coral look that I want for a particular shot. I can go up here to frame grab. I'll call it Coral 1. And I'm going to save that. Now it's saved in memory in the, in the uh, program. But what I want to do now is I want to export it so that I can load it into the red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this 3D LUT down here because this is already being done in the camera. What I want is this stuff right here, which is sort of a layer that's going to go on top that's going to inform the camera of how to interpret that image. So I'm going to go up here to File, Save Current Look As, and I'm going to save it as a Red Cine X Pro cube file, save it to my desktop, create a folder called LUTs, The reason why I chose that name and all caps is because this is going to allow the red to uh, recognize it and import it. So I'm going to take that modified out of it because I've been playing around a little bit here. Coral one cube, great. I'm going to put it into my LUTs folder. Let's save it. And on my desktop, I have a LUTs folder. Let's open it up. All right, there's my coral. So next step, I'm gonna go grab my red mag, put it on there, and then we'll put it in the camera. I have my red mag on the desktop, open it up. And I'm literally just going to put the LUTs folder into the root menu. There's my coral. I have the media back on my red. I'm gonna to go to menu, monitoring, monitors, HDSDI. I'm gonna take it out of the log and put it back into Rec 709. So 709, 709 SDR. Okay, so we got that. Now we want to add our LUT. So I'm going to go to Image, 3D LUT. Notice there's none right now. I want to import it from my red mag. And there it is, the Coral 1. I'm going to bring it in. And there it is. Okay, so now what I need to do is I want to choose that. Got it. Now I want to go in here. There's my Coral 1. OK. And there you go. Let me close this up. And there you go. You can see the Coral is now 
on my LCD, it's also going to be on my monitor. I've opened up Resolve. Here's my uh, red file that I'm going to work on. I'm going to do a little housekeeping before I pull that into the media pool. I'm going to go to my camera raw. I'm going to choose red, premium, and I'm going to go to project. That allows me to choose IPP2. In my color space, we're going to go red wide RGB. And for our gamma, we are going to do log 3 G10. Okay, I'm going to go down here and just check off. I want to use the ISO that I shot with and the color temperature. And I click Save. And I'm going to bring this in. And there's our clip. Okay, fantastic. So the next thing we're going to do, let me create a timeline for this. And let's go right over to color. Very simple what we're going to do here. Let me do a little housekeeping here. All right, so I'm going to create another serial node. So I'm going to do Alt S. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of replicating what we had done in LiveGrade where we had a workflow going through multiple layers. So here I'm going to delog. And to do that, I'm going to go in and go to 3D LUTs. 3D LUTs, and I have the IPP2s. Uh, these are the D logs. This can be downloaded from the Red website. I'm going to go to the Rec 709, and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. I'm going to go to the medium contrast with the roll off number two. All right, that's replicating what the camera is doing. So now I'm going to click on node one, and now let's try. Let's try a slightly different uh, coral effect here. Maybe we'll make it a little deeper. But we'll get kind of at the same, arrive at the same place, hopefully. Okay, we're gonna do a little, I got a little too much green in there. There we go, let's come around nicely. Okay, so that's, that's where we wanna be. Uh, maybe I wanna go in here and I'll do a little, uh, change in saturation here. Well, let's keep it a little heavy. Okay, so here's what we've got. We've got the the look right here, and we got the D log on number two. I'm going to go back to that and Command D, which turns it off. So the only thing I have active right now is really the CDL, the, the hue and saturation changes that I made. And I'm going to go into my thumbnail and I am going to do generate 3D cube. Okay, and I'll go to my desktop and I'll create a second folder. And, oh, what the heck, I'm gonna put it into the, my LUTs folder here that I already made. And we're gonna call this Coral 2. And I'm going to save it. All right, let's check our work. Let's folder open. And there it is. There's coral number two. We got it. All right, let's eject uh, the, uh, let's put this in our red mag and let's put it into the camera and see what we get. I have the red mag loaded on the camera. Let's bring in coral two that we made in Resolve. Menu, image, 3D LUT import. There's Coral 2 on my red mag. Let's bring it into the camera. All right, there it is right there. Let's close it out. Now let's apply it. There's Coral 2. Okay. And there you go. That wraps up my look at how to create and put LUTs into a red camera using IPP2. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.